All right, well, it's our second time attempting fishing in a new spot, and uh, Gail just caught the mother of all stick fishes. In fact, I'd say it's more like a tree fish. Yeah, so uh, Trius macrocatus here. That looks like a giant piece of bamboo. All right, bamboo fish. All right, well, good job, babe. That's the, the biggest, biggest catch ever. All right, so we're on the first cast of the day trying to do some bass fishing here, and we got a uh, basic uh, Texas rig uh, set up here with uh, trick worm. So we're gonna see how that does. Yesterday when we tried this spot out, I had a bite on the first throw right over there under that tree over there. So I'm gonna see if I can get that again. Fished uh, the rest of the day trying to catch them and I couldn't. So hopefully we do this time and hopefully my first cast doesn't land me right in that tree. Uh, success. Of course, uh, as I suspected, the line I put on here isn't too good for not birds nesting. So basically, uh, this, is, this is a new spot we've been trying out. Uh, it's on Randleman Lake. It's called what? Worthfield Dam. And uh, it seems like the, uh, the area you want to shoot is the opposite side of the little uh, creek here. As is typical, uh, of course, the fish can never be where you are. They always have to be as far away as you can possibly cast. A lot of rocks. That's why I'm Texas rigging. All right, that's not a bad cast, right on the other side of that pillar. If there's something in behind it, I'll get it. If there's something to the side or the front, I might get it. I gotta say, the the extra control that a bait caster offers you is definitely worth it. It's like if I decide I don't like my cast, I can definitely abort it and stuff, you know? Oh, now what the hell is that? There. Oh, you got a shell cracker? Let's have a look. Oh, he's got to start flopping. That's a nice one. Yeah, little shell cracker. That's good. That's yeah, so obviously the uh, the wife's pan fishing. I'm bass fishing. Gonna see what kind of video we get out of this today. Shell crackers are a fun fight. If shellcracker was in any way, like, if you were able to get on it as consistency, as, as consistently as crappy, I'd probably like them better. Yeah. So today, uh, I'm, I'm hopping, hopping the worm slightly, but I'm also mostly just dragging it along the bottom. I don't know why, but in the middle of the day, in the summertime, that seems to be what they respond to better. Oh. Did you get another shellcracker? Another big shellcracker. All right, that's a nice one. For a stream like this, this is a really good size fish. Yeah, nice to be able to get on them here. Mm -hmm. All right, well lately here, it's been fun to do some catfishing while we're doing our nice casual, you know, panfish or bass fishing. So we got our sinker, our hook, and uh, some nice cut bait. Uh, I'm just gonna cast it out there and leave it, and we'll see if anything happens. I don't even know if there's catfish here, to be honest. We'll see. Pull it nice and tight. All right, in the meantime, I'm gonna pan fish with worms. All right, I caught my first fish for the day. Let's see what it is. Feels like it's got a little bit of heft to it. All right, it's a good sized uh, bluegill, I believe. Nice little gill. So I got my catfish rod set up here. We uh, we finally got some bells so that I don't have to constantly keep looking at it. All right, well, we might uh, be doing another catching big shell crackers video. Look at the size of this guy. That's the nicest one that we haven't pulled out at Flat Swamp. Yeah, that's a good size shell Yeah, that's cracker. a good size one. Great job, babe. Thank you. Just caught on a worm. Fish. Right, I'm gonna see if I can get a couple of them. Really? Yeah. Huh, good job. Yeah. 
All right, good job, good job. Let's see if I can do that. Yeah, I guess Shellcracker would love this place. Hey, caught something in the middle. Something small. Ooh, quiet. Little red breast. All right, there we go. Nice little, very pretty red red breast sunfish. Blah blah blah, blah sunfish. Everyone decided to get noisy down there. Oh yeah, there's fish right up on that bank. Got him. Bank. Yep. Not too good a fight or anything, but something. Hello. Yeah, little guy. Little bluegill. Who cares, gill? All right, got something. Surf them on in. Hope you like a ride, fish. Red breast. Red breast sunfish. Very nice. Good to see these guys being featured on the channel more often now. Beautiful little fish. Let's see what we got here. Now a little red breast. Been downgrading all day. And it sounds like we're about to get rained out here too. Okay, well, you can find your own way back since you had to be a jerk. Yeah, that's a good size red breast there. Very nice. Very pretty. <laughs> good one. 44 minutes, we're getting a thunderstorm. There's a bite. Nothing coming of it. Did you feel that? Pressure just dropped. All right, we might want to start packing up and getting out. Mm, dirty. We are dirty. Yeah, definitely. I need to start getting a small one. Too much. No, don't get a small one, because then I'll drink the rest of it. That's how I get extra coffee. Oh, okay. You can account on that. Yeah. Alright, rained out. Probably won't be a video.